video link. Martin Day. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. May I thank the Minister for his statement. It is important that we follow the science on this issue, and I welcome the clarity from the JCVI on this matter. As Pfizer is required for young teens and Pfizer or Moderna vaccines are required for young adults, and the supply of these looks to be the lowest since February, what assurances can the Minister give that delivery will be sufficient? With many younger adults being unvaccinated and some being more complacent about COVID, how does the Minister propose persuading more of them to vaccinate and dramatically reduce the risk of serious disease? The UK now has more daily cases than any other state in the world, and as the Health Secretary has demonstrated, it is still possible to catch and therefore spread the virus when vaccinated. Last week, over 1,200 scientists, doctors and disease experts said that the UK government and its complete and immediate unlocking of England, with only 54% of the whole population fully vaccinated, was, it said, a threat to the world. Will the UK government accept responsibility should the concerns of these experts come true? And finally, the Health Secretary has spoken, as his predecessor did often, of the need not to politicise the pandemic. Can the Minister explain why his party colleagues in Scotland are attempting to attack the Scottish Government for its vaccine programme, despite the fact that a greater proportion of people in Scotland have been vaccinated than in England? Does he condemn his party colleagues' attempts to politicise the vaccine rollout in Scotland, or does he consider their untruthful claims to be acceptable? Thank you very much, Mr Deputy Speaker. Um, the Honourable Member uh, uh, for Linlithgow and uh, Eastful Kirk raises a number of important questions. On uh, uh, Pfizer um, uh, supply, supply remains um, consistent and uh, uh, we have uh, every confidence uh, that the manufacturer will continue to deliver as they have been uh, according to the delivery schedules. It is not a question of supply to be able to continue to vaccinate both the uh, over 18s with their uh, first dose and, of course, their second dose uh, by the end of September, or uh, now, uh, as we did a few hours ago, jointly with uh, uh, Minister uh, Hamza Youssef uh, and the ministers from uh, North Ireland and from uh, Wales, take the decision that we will all follow the JCVI advice on vaccinating uh, the vulnerable children and, of course, those who live with vulnerable adults, as I described in my statement. Uh, and uh, in terms of uh, our capability in the UK to uh, manage this pandemic, and I hope uh, with the booster campaign in September transition it from pandemic status to endemic status, I think the wall of vaccinated adults almost at 88%, I think 87.9% uh, with the first dose in the United Kingdom and 68% of all adults with two doses. Uh, this is the right precautionary, pragmatic decision to transition uh, this and return our country to as normal a uh, place as possible and, of course, uh, get those businesses that were uh, first in almost and now last out of the pandemic back up and running.